so today we had we had some big news uh to hit i i guess you know what i'm saying i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that uh same energy before we started recording you know what i'm saying i get some big news to you mr j you know what i'm saying I, apparently you want to play cuphead but you ain't gonna buy no switch right no, I'm just saying it was just news. I mean, it seems cool though. Cuphead seems. I mean, why are these games coming so late to to the Switch? I'm like, okay, I don't know. Cuphead coming, but Cuphead been out for would, a year. Would right? they have that Switch tax though? You heard about that Switch tax? What's the Switch tax? When they report games over to the Switch, they cost like make them cost even more than what they usually are. Like you know how much long Nintendo games stay fifty dollars, sixty dollars. But anyway, just like the you know they poured in Resident Evil One, yeah, Zero and Four. And each of those games are like forty dollars each, but you could get them like for twenty dollars well, or fourteen. First of all, you and you ain't Mario don't go on sale. I don't care. <laughs> Mario Kart Seven is still forty nine dollars. I know this shit's still sixteen fifty nine. You know, what I'm so Mario, bro, if Mario on it, it don't go on sale, bro. You know, what that's what I'm saying. saying. You for, no, you forget no, about no trying to get a cheap Mario game for real. No, no. Mar- Nintendo game exclusive game for real. No, because they don't play that That's shit. That's that and, Switch text. And Nintendo exclusives are good, especially if it have Mario on it. All right, mm, all of them. Replay debatable. value out the. Come on, Odyssey. Come that's on, debatable. man. Carts, Smash that's Brothers. It's debatable. Well, you know what? You like you. Th- I'm talking to somebody who thinks Crash Bandicoot is better than Mario. I never said that. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's I, what you said. That's what you said. I never said that. Yeah, that's what you said. I never said that in life. All right. Crash right. Bandicoot is good. But he ain't Mario. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Ooh, man, that was a good one. Yeah, that was that was that was, that was one of the time. But yeah, we, you got what some are, big news. So Xbox lost another exclusive again. Cuphead is now on the Switch. <laughs> I mean. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm I mean, just joking. you kind of right, though, but. <laughs> I mean, but it, it's kind of dead. You know, it's like beating a dead horse. We didn't, they didn't sold the shit out of it, right? <laughs> what else, it what is. else can it you is, do with it? Was, was no, like, okay, whatever. Um, but also, the Epic Game Store, like, a lot of PC fanboys was crying about, you know, because Metro Exodus exclusive on uh, yeah. Tell Epic me about Store this for Epic Store. Tell me about this Epic thing that you that you was talking about today. What, what about it now? Well, supposedly... They giving developers a bigger cut if they put their games on their store of the prices than what Valve is doing, so developers get more of their money. Um, and I heard something about too, like maybe you get like because you know Epic also makes the Unreal Engine. Mm-hmm. Maybe you get to license their engine for free when you make a game. So because you know licensing engines just cost a lot of money. So it's 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 a lot of. Uh, what would you call it? It's a lot of um, good qualities for developers on them. Yeah, I guess it. if you get the... If you to me, it's them. just like... I mean, I guess what they kind of did with Metro Exodus kind of like a little schemey because they had pre-orders ready on Steam and people already bought pre-orders for the release date this past February, but then like two months or a month before, like, oh, it's launching on Epic Store for a year. So that is, but I, you could, I guess, cancel your pre-order and then like do download another launcher but yeah so the epic store is also getting um some games that were exclusive to playstation for a while actually heavy rain um beyond two souls and what's the other game oh detroit become human i actually just bought that for 20 dollars, so i can't wait to try it out but um so yeah they go into the epic store as well and then also epic store is getting exclusive um what's it called the outer worlds which is being developed by obsidian and you didn't know obsidian also developed fallout new vegas which people say is like the best fallout and they also developed the first south park stick of truth which is like these all these good critically came that's that's, they that's that game is so nasty it's so good but I, anyway <laughs> So and and the Outer Worlds look good too, and they also picked up another game that'll be exclusive on there. So Epic doing their thing; they're trying to be competitive about Steam. Because if you look at Steam and Valve, like I heard Valve customer service is really bad. You know, Steam customer service. I mean, I and got my Valve money back himself, when, when uh, 
Tekken X Street Fighter didn't work. I mean, they they wasn't that bad to me. I mean, you just click return. Oh, okay. And they get your money back. I don't know okay, what else you could cool. do. And then um, and then Valve as developer now, like they haven't developed any games. Like where's Half Life Three? Where's you know people looking for a lift yeah, for them? Man, people can just wrap T-Fortress that shit up, man. That Half Life shit. Bruh. They were trying to, they were trying to get Half Life forever, man. Bro, I man. love Half Life. I love it too. Yeah. I'm one, two, three. I all that. Remember the orange box? Remember the orange box? I, yeah, I got, I got it on. It's blasphemous, cause but I got it on PS3. Yeah, the long load times and stuff. What, what are, it, it was about orange box? I beat that. Game. Yeah, I got, I beat Half Life two. So many, so one who. What about I Team Fortress? So you remember Team Fortress? I played that at first. I didn't really get into it. Though. Yeah, it was garbage. But it does have their own fan base. Uh, it yeah, it had its own fan base. Ain't it it had, like, yeah, dead, yeah, because most people, it's, it's dead now. Most people watch Fortnite and stuff now. And a lot of what probably Dota and League of Legends and stuff like that. So they had for people fan base. But yeah, Epic Games Store is doing this thing. And it was just a lot of big news. Like, Man, these Sony exclusives going to the Epic Store, going to PC now, and then now uh, Cuphead is going to the Switch. I need Cuphead to come to the PS4, like dog, like for real though. You know, <laughs> Cuphead needs to go. Oh, Cuphead is on PC though, right? It was. It been on PC. For so real. yeah, saying, Windows everywhere. You like like you. Don't, so what we gotta do? This is what we gotta do, Jared. Off topic. This is what we gotta do. We need instead of getting you an Xbox, we need to get you a PC built. Cause mm. with PC you can use your PlayStation controller and we can play together. True. I, I can be on my beast, Xbox. I got Beast Lane. I got Beast Laptop though. Probably run cupcakes. No, it can, it can run. It can run <laughs> this shit for sure. We, we can actually play that together though. You but you'll have to get your. Uh, if you probably won't even need an adapter. You can just plug it up. And download the drivers for the PS4 yeah. controller. Yeah, I mean, I was playing that one fighting game with the PS4 controller. Remember, we had with little people sprites. <laughs> I don't I remember what it's called. I don't yeah. want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so that is that all for the news today? Or what? Then you have one more, one more for us. I think that's about it. No, no, those PlayStation games. Cuphead ain't a PlayStation game. They wasn't developed by, you know, in-house Sony studio. So it was a second party thing they had with Quantic Dreams. Yeah, you know, it's Sony all, it's, does own Quantic. It's all, it's all relative now, man. You know, it's all relative. But we'll get to the, no, no, no. I know, I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. I, I, I ain't going to let you take this. I'm uh, not going to let you cheapen it. <laughs> I know I'm not cheap. They're great games. They're great games. Mm-hmm. People was like, see, like Sony games going, but it's like Sony don't own those IPs. They had a partnership, with Quantic Dreams, and they don't own Quantic. Games. I mean, so. if if it comes out only on PS4, I don't care who, how it, because it's so. The thing is, we know everything now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Back then, they were doing partnerships with like Nintendo had Donkey Kong, right? Yeah, Donkey which Kong was produced was by who? Rare. Rare. Right? Yeah. You know it, it had the same kind of. Whoa. Well, Nintendo owned Rare, then but it's the same, it's the same thing. It's a studio from. up under Nintendo, right? It, it no, but Nintendo actually owned Rare. Yeah, it wasn't no partnership. Nintendo actually owned Rare, and then Microsoft bought Rare from them. Hmm. So I got, I got to check. I, I got to check my stories on that. You know, so I know you quick yeah. with the tongue. We'll see. We'll see. You know, I'm gonna check. I'm pretty sure people in the comment section will be like, no, no, no. But it's I mean, all if good, I'm wrong, wrong, but I, if, I believe Microsoft. Act, I mean, Nintendo actually owned Rare. We'll, 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 hold on, we'll, 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 but Rare's we'll, not even we'll good see. now. Well, now they're not producing things, but I mean, they, they are. They produce C and D's. I don't. I got nothing to do with that. I mean, I'm not a Rare <laughs> fan. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they should have kept Call it, uh, Killer Instinct. Uh, from they should have kept that going. That shit was they, dumb. Uh, they um the same people who was there not even there anymore. It's like a whole yeah. It's all it's just a it's just a shell. You know what I'm saying? Shell company. Yeah, shadow. They bought the name. But a shadow they form itself or, or like just, or a shell of their it's self. You right? It's just, they just under the name. I just remember rare. rare was the shit in the N64 days. Like yeah, how many games they developed and they developed fast as fuck and it was really good. Like they had 
Remember, was it Diddy Banjo Kong? Banjo Kazooie, one and two. Probably had Diddy, Diddy Kong 64. They had Congress Band, Bad Fur Day, Jet Force Gemini. You know, they did. Uh, I'm about to make a lot of people mad. I have no idea um, why, the, why Conker's Bad Fur Day was good. I don't understand. Or really, Banjo Kazooie. They, they did Golden Eye and Perfect Dark, too. Oh, like Golden that Eye generation. Game. They A developer did like eight games that generation? That's crazy. Mm, What's that day? That Golden Eye. I don't think they ever made a game better than Golden. I don't think nobody ever made a game. Better Perfect Dark was cool, but anyway, I fuck with Perfect Dark. I, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't gonna let the video link on too long. You know what I'm saying? We got the news for the day. Uh, just stay tuned, man. Y'all, we gonna be dropping episodes a lot more now. We, I'm gonna put Jared on the schedule, and he also gonna be running the Twitter. If you like, you know what I'm saying? He got the more deeper in, intellect into this thing. Until I get into it now, he gonna he whooping me right now. But you know what I'm saying? We coming back. So. Jared gonna be running the Twitter, man. So if you wanna hear more from him, just uh look look us up on TJ Hot Mike Twitter. And we you know we got the Instagram going. That's more of my world. So if you want if you like what I'm saying or you like what I'm posting, I'm the better imagery person. You know what I'm saying? He's the better conversationalist, you know what I'm saying? So that's why we kind of separated it like that. But anyway, um I'm gonna see y'all next time, man. Thanks for listening to Hot Takes, man. It's on. It's on it's on.